A nested function is one that's tucked inside another function. For example, we can nest a sum function inside another function that requires a number in order for the rest of the function to work. The sum satisfies the number requirement and allows the function to function. Now here's a simple example of that found on my nested demo one worksheet. We have a list of four purchased items and using a formula that nests a function inside it, we can add in the pre-calculated sales tax and obtain a donation that's the difference between the actual total and that amount rounded up to the next dollar. We calculate this with a sum function nested inside a round function. The round function does the rounding but requires a number to round up and that's where the sum function comes into play. So as you can see in cell C11, the invoice total with tax is $729.91. But to round that up to $730, which provides a nine cent donation, which I grant you isn't much, but if this was done at a store or business that has millions of customers, that would add up fast. We can go to cell C13 and type equals round and press the tab key to open the parentheses. Note that the round function requires two arguments, a number and a number of digits. The sum function creates the number argument, and by typing a zero for the second argument, we tell Excel to round up from 729.91, which is what the invoice total would normally be, to $730 even, the difference to be donated to a charity designated by the seller and agreed to by the customer. So the finished function is, equals round, opening parenthesis, then the sum function, which sums cells C4 through C9, followed by the closing argument, the number zero for the number of digits to round. Closing the parentheses, we get our result. Moving on to nested demo two, I'm using the if function and nesting a sum inside it to provide the number that's compared to another number to answer a question. So I type, equals if, opening parenthesis, cell B2 less than the sum of cells C5 through C6, followed by the arguments for the value of true, 0.15, and the value of false, 0.1, and then close the parentheses. And that calculates the commission. Now, I'm betting that's confusing you, so don't worry, we'll break it down. The functions, one nested inside the other, say, if the cell value in B2, which is the sales quota of 300,000, is less than the sum of the sales, then the sales rep gets a 15% commission. If not, he or she just gets 10%. Now, you notice that the commission is calculated automatically because it's set to take the result of our if function and the sum nested inside it to create the formula in cell C10. Going back to the if function, the arguments are logical test, which is the comparison of cell B2 to the sum of cells C5 through C6. And then we run that test and get an answer, the value of true or the value of false. Let me do that again for sales rep two so you can watch me build the nested functions again. Again, the commission is automatically calculated using the result in cell D8. Nesting functions is only as complicated as the functions themselves. 
the sum nested inside the round function is simple because there are just two arguments. The sum nested inside an if function is a bit more complex, but very powerful. It asks a question, and then based on the answer, we can calculate another value. Pretty snazzy, 